Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here. One only how all my adventures doing. Welcome back to the channel. Or, welcome to the channel. So, um, the first part of this video is letting you guys know that I am doing a Q&A. So, if you have any questions about me, about Monster Girl Utopia, anything of the sort, put it down in the comments of this video right now. And I will try and get to them when I am ready for that video. So... The second part of this video is about Grand Fantasia memories. So if you guys aren't interested in Grand Fantasia, then here's the time that you click off and just put your question down in the comments. So, um, yeah. Grand Fantasia memories just went through a new scale and it has new rewards on it. Uh, I guess I should have brought that up before I uh, started the video. But it's actually pretty interesting because they have some newer stuff that actually piqued my interest quite a bit. So I'm going to change it to where you guys can see the full desktop. Oh, I, I got to close that. Okay, there we go. So, oh, don't forget about that. So they still have the normal title stuff, the talent exchange but they have a new summon who is actually extremely interesting i'll show you guys that real soon and then they have a trans new transformation that you can use as well then they have the whole title thing and still the same old uh, combat scorpion and then on the scale side they have something that's really interesting they still have clay they still have the normal uh sprite caps but they have this. This is uh, an item that heals you over time. I will show you that in this video as well. So, with all that shown, let's get down to it. So, the best place to show all this would be uh, the, the dungeon we fell on. The last dungeon we fell on. There's also new titles too. Uh, I don't know actually how you earned them. Is this GM stone for special items? Oh, I guess it's for special items, not special titles. Huh. Interesting. I thought that was the same thing. Apparently, apparently it is not. Okay. So the last dungeon we fell on was, uh, Black Flame. So now we got to go do that. And get rid of this since we are going to be using it. And we're going to go to. Yeah. Save my soul right quick. All right. So. First things first is the summoning, which is God Orochi. You get plus 25% movement speed and all your attacks do life steal, which is actually amazing. First of all, this is PVE only. It, it can't be used in PVP, obviously. That, that's because of Anubis. Anubis already ruined that, and it makes sense for this not to be in there. But then again, like I said before, we have the level 85 hammer that does the same thing, but also gives more healing. Instead, I think it is 20% 20, 20 along with a whole bunch of crit and, and lower, if I remember, like cast speed. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, use or 20% of HP, well, damage you dealt as HP and you get crit chance and damage plus 25 along with some cast speed uh, lower. I always recommend this hammer for anybody who plays wolf form or gorilla. 
that's the most place you're going to benefit from it. But it does have Ant on it, so that's also a good thing as well. So if you want to ever do, like, Bird 2, I guess that would work. It wouldn't be as efficient, technically. But, you know, it's a thing. <laughs> but he actually does look sick. I actually like his design. He looks very dope. I was about to say, whenever he comes into the game. You know, I've never played a War Kingdom not that long to be able to get stuff like this. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's from a War Kingdom. But it's actually pretty neat that they were able to put this in there. Uh, I think it still has the same abilities as Anubis does. Except for, I think Anubis gives physical defense, but he gives magic defense. So he doesn't life steal himself. You're the one doing the life stealing. I actually out leveled his place a little bit now. There we go. We're actually able to tank quite a bit. That's that's exactly why I tell people to get that life steal hammer at level 85 is just because of that. It's actually like extremely good. And I'm pretty sure it stacks along with this too. So that's going to be even more healing over time. But you can still die with this. So don't think you're immortal just because you have this. You can still die. <laughs> Let me explain to you the ways that you can die. <laughs> uh, days. Stun. Sleep. And misfortune. All those things can still kill you. So just keep that in mind. that You can still pretty much die pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, my movement speed back there is say it. I'm about to say it felt really sluggish without it. Got to put this on too. Okay, and then there is the transformation, which I actually thought about. This transformation, you guys are probably thinking to yourself, that's not really a significant lower inside of like cooldowns by like, you know. 1.5 but there are certain classes that benefit from this a lot such as healers you know getting that skill cooldown a lot faster is is nice just because it keeps heals up not only that it works great with explorer and precisely is specifically who i'm talking about is uh key master because Keymaster has, where is it? Oh, here it is. Black Hole Zone, which lowers cooldowns by one for all skills. So you are going to be getting a 2.5 lower with a key master in your party. So if you ever see a key master in this, then you might as well just pop this. Uh, well, if you ever see a key master in your group, you might as well pop this too if you benefit from it. If you're a druid, unfortunately, like I said before, we don't benefit from this <laughs> because we have to transform in order to get it. And if we transform out of it, we lose it. We're the only class that doesn't get to enjoy that because we're already pretty strong. Druid is always pretty strong. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's also the next thing um, to showcase the rejuvenation. I guess I will use protective blessing here. Okay, there's the potion. And now we use, the sh use this. So it doesn't regen like too much. 
it goes between one and two percent of your HP. So basically, the higher the higher your HP, the more you benefit from it. So that's mostly useful for like very high HP tanks. But it also keeps you alive if you need to like sw swap aggro. If somebody can easily swap aggro with you, you can just pop that <laughs> just for a little bit of regen. Not only that, uh, I'm not sure if this trinket plays off of uh, Hills Done. It also goes on cooldown for four minutes, but it lasts for 10 seconds, which is pretty decent on paper. But now that you like seen how much it like actually heals, it was just healing between 219 to 400. So it's pretty meh on like, you know, damage or DPSs, but on tanks that have way more HP, it works perfectly on. So let's say, for example, I use Gorilla Guard. I would probably get a lot more out of it more than anything. So I can even show you guys that Orochi can actually help me get to the boss over there without dying. <laughs> Just because life steal. I say that, like I said, this is why I wanted the, the life steal hammer. It's for this reason right here. Because once you have the life steal hammer, you are pretty much good unless you fight like a like I said, enemies that stun or give you any, you know, debuff that keeps you from attacking. Misfortune will definitely be your biggest weakness since Misfortune lasts long, a lot longer than any of the, like, CC abilities. But, actually, no. I guess Misfortune would be fine as long as you have good basic damage. So that's pretty cool. I say they still don't have like their own like, you know, very cool like abilities or anything. They still have like the shield and stuff like that. So it's nothing like extremely significant, but I guess they're going for the theme of just adding um, abilities to them for the player, which is actually not a bad approach, to be honest. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will enjoy that. Um, I guess we could check the auction house and see how much he's going for. I don't expect him to go for like a crap ton considering that this community has actually been well. Oh shit. Has been done well on pricing. Oh, he was in here like earlier today. I just got off work. Uh, before I went to work, he was going for like 25k. But I think everybody's buying him right now just for that lifesteal. He, he does make PvE uh, somewhat a lot easier. As long as you aren't going in, going against anything that's full-on chunking you, you should be fine. I'll say I have full-on comeback gear. I do need to upgrade my trinket sooner or later. But yeah, I have my level 80 set on. So I'm doing just fine. Uh, you can also do Gorilla Form as well. Since Gorilla Form is a lot more tank based. Let's put on this. I do have to protect him because uh, <laughs> he is my uh, <laughs> HP. Regen right now. 
I say that'll be your only thing you gotta pay attention to is HP. So I can group inside of here now. So if I ever needed to take the initiative with like teammates and ha and take all the aggro, I can. As you can see, I I can get stunned inside of this big group, which can be troublesome. So I gotta remember that. The main thing that's gonna help me in this is mental impact because that hits everything a lot harder. I don't have to wait for an, another AOE. I can just smack that. And now growth form is good. So if you ever see him in an auction house and you have enough, you know, enough gold and stuff for that, I would say get him. He definitely does help if you don't have a level 85 hammer. This is mostly for druids. But it also works on other classes too. I don't know how effective it would be on on um, I don't know how effective Orochi would be on wizards since they all their skills are mostly cast. I don't think it's very effective on necromancers. Can necromancers summon a minion and a pet? I actually don't know. Hey, come over here, fight me. Thank you. So, yeah, our crits are actually pretty hitting pretty immediately there. That's actually funny. Gorilla form is hitting higher than uh my wolf form, but doesn't have the same DPS as wolf form now. But it's just because of this. So I wonder. Okay, so it it does go off as soon as I use that note. I was wondering if like a uh, song of slaughter actually like disappeared. If I went back to normal form. Okay, so now it is uh increasing through 500 500 to nearly 300 with this amount of HP. I'd say he, he's definitely a lot better than Anubis. I wonder if they're going to buff Anubis later down the road. Or if they're going to keep her the same. Because then again, I feel like she's fine. A lot of people will probably want her changed. I'd say that's just something to lead to like a boating pole or something. Thankfully, I don't have to wait for Moonforn or Moonface to show up because in the official server, you would actually have to kill.
kill all these Firestone monsters for him to show up. They took that gimmick out of this. Come on. Oh yeah, uh, Druid combo for Wolf Worm if he comes over here. Is one, two, one, oh, one, three, two, one, three, two, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, one. So you would basically just rotate between whatever is on cooldown. But there is a rhythm to it to where you can, like, get caustic cooldown to where not all of them go on cooldown at the same time. Actually, I should pop this first. There you go. Gotta remember that one is the is the lowest cooldown. So you would always want to go for one after two or three. If you have the cooldowns like available. Oh, well, if you already have like both of these on cooldown, always prepare yourself for one because one will always come up faster. Sad part is if we had this, we would be spamming it. <laughs> so that's a good thing Wolf Form does not have. Is <laughs> not allowed to use this because Wolf Form would be busted with the transformation. But if I had like a... I don't know what you're attacking. But if I had like a key master in my party with black hole, probably wouldn't even be an issue. I was also supposed to play Dragon's Dogma <laughs> like yesterday, but I got caught up in game, de game development and other stuff, so didn't get the chance to. You can also start off the combo with, uh, if you have a charge, you go one, two, three, one, two, one. Since Render wouldn't be off cooldown by then. So like this, one, two, three, one, two. That would go back to one again. Because I would still have enough time for that. Yes, I play a lot of Druid. I, I learned these things. It just took it just took a while for me to remember old Druid. <laughs> it feels weird now, now that I'm playing like a whole different Druid. So he is concerned with some enemy over there. I'm going to let him be concerned with it because if he doesn't die, that's golden for us. Like I said, you can still die pretty easily. I say it's not overwhelming because if you get like too many enemies and you don't have enough defense for it, 
you can die off that. But in gorilla form, that's a whole different story, as long as I'm buffed up. Because I have AoEs that will hit every enemy and keep me alive. And bosses that summon those enemies help me stay alive. So bosses that summon minions are your best friend is what I'm trying to tell you. But Misfortune also plays plays into that. But as long as you're also getting basic hits, you should be good out of that. I didn't even realize that the potions were down. Technically, right now, I could transform back to wolf form. You can also swap targets, hit minions. Why are you over here? Damn it, the minion came over there. It's saying they got over, a little bit too overwhelming. But yeah, stuff like that is actually like a lot more fun. Uh, I would just need a little bit more testing and everything, getting abilities ready. Still don't know what's up with you. I don't know what you're fighting. You're fighting something that's glitched into the wall that only you see? I never know what he's uh was talking to because I'm trying to toggle it, but apparently I don't see it. I think it's like some kind of visible enemy there that only he sees. So is that it? No. He's still broken, but uh, I need to head out now. <laughs> I don't really have enough time to like just fully travel the dungeon. Uh, and oh my god, he's in combat, so I can't use anything. But yeah, Q and A, that stuff. You were still here longer. Leave questions. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then. You guys have a fantastic day. It is time for me to do game stuff.